Hello folks, this is Tom from anti-proton.com and I have some pretty good equipment but there was one thing that I was missing and I just got it. Scintillation. Except no substitutions. This is a Ludlum Model 12 no, 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 friends, not the Model 3, that's the less expensive one. This is the good one, this is the 12. Well, the 3 is perfectly fine, but the 3 is for Geiger counters for the most part. This guy right here is built for scintillation counters. It'll run a Geiger counter too, for that matter, and the 3 will as well, but this one's really designed for it. With a 1-inch sodium iodide thallium dope scintillation probe, which can be used for gamma spectroscopy, but not with this unit. You'd have to pull it off and use it with... Uh, either my UCS-30 or my Gamma Spectacular. I'll probably be taking the Gamma Spectacular with me out into the field. The UCS-30 already has a slightly better probe attached to it, and this thing's more rugged. I can take it out with the GS-11100A. Uh, That's my Gamma Spectacular. But anyway, so let me show you a little bit about how this unit works and what's on it. I'm going to put, put out, I'm actually going to put out an official a product review video in a couple of days like I've done for all my other detectors and so on. So uh, this is not an official one. This is kind of like just kind of impromptu. I just wanted to show you the whole little thing. I didn't even plan it out. Just, this is sort of like on the fly just for giggles, which is what impromptu means. But anyway, uh, I got a strap with mine because I like the strap. Let me take the strap off though uh, just for the purposes of showing you because it kind of gets in the way when you're trying to show it. Well, it's per really, really useful when you're carrying it around. It's terrible when you're trying to show it, though. All right, so here's the unit. It's a little sounder on the side. I'm, I'm starting to really like the beep, which is weird and freaky, because I used to always hate the beep and thought the click was the best. I love the click, too, but I think I'm, the beep's, like, starting to grow on me. This thing is smaller than I realized. It looks bigger on camera. It's weird. Um, I got a check source on the side of mine. I didn't buy a check source, because I already had plenty of check sources, and I'll put a check source in it in a couple days. You just, like, stick it in there. Uh, I'll put a CS-137 check source in there. Uh, this has a uh, calibration that's only a few days old. Um, what makes the 12 different from the uh, 3, besides the price, is the fact that, uh, let me pull this off right here. Basically put, I have a high voltage button, so I can check high voltage. Uh, all the other buttons are the same, like the audio on and off, the uh, fast or slow response, the reset button, the reset since zero is the dial. I'll turn it on in a second. But notice that on the on Model 3, you have a, a 0.1 as a multiplication factor, then a 1, a 10, and a 100, which maxes out really fast. That means if I hooked up something like this scintillation device right here, my basic background count would already be in excess of what the 0.1 and the 1 could even show, making only two usable ranges, which would be terrible. The, uh, the um, Model 12 starts with a 1, a 10, and then a 100, and then a 1,000. Much better in my opinion. It has a simple and easy to use C adapter right here. So you can pull the C adapter off. Never cut it on without the adapter, of course. That's obviously a no-no. And of course it reads and counts per minute because as you well know, I think that energy units are useless uh, when you're not using them with a um, either calibrated to the actual isotope you're testing or an energy sensitive device. So I can go from um, on times one, I get zero to, fi to 500 which I basically can't use even with this detector. It's the, my background's like 1800 counts per minute, plus or minus. Uh, times 10 is 0 to 5,000. Times 100 is 0 to 50,000. And times 1,000 is 0 to 500,000. I can get this thing up to 420,000, and that's it. But let's test that. Not 420, but we'll get it up there a little bit. Oh, and by the way, I can connect other probes to it, like my RAP. 47 low energy probe. I will do a, I'll use that term again, shout out to um, I IRAD, who I got this connector from right here. This connector allows me to connect a Ludlum to a, um, a BNC cable. So I'll put a link to, uh, to his store in the um, details section on eBay. Uh, he's got some really neat little connectors and if you're like me and you bought one of these you probably want to know where you can get one and of course um, there are a couple other good places like Geo Electronics puts them out too I think I'd have to double check on that but it's definitely the sort of thing he'd have for sure it's another one I randomly got alright so let's power this on and see what we get because realistically speaking listening to me blab is well 
fun. Not really there. Nobody wants to hear me blab. You want to see this go. And we want to identify what this thing is. What's in this? What could it be? It's probably radioactive. All right. So step one, power on. To do the power on, we're going to set this thing to, I'm going to pull this off when I do the product demonstration so you can actually see it because it's in the way. It's useful when you're using it. It's terrible when you're trying to show it in a video. Okay, cut power on to battery and it'll show you a battery test. And there's a little battery test indicator right here. You see the battery test indicator? Shall I zoom in on that? Nah, no zooming. No zoom. Okay, so there's the battery test and our battery's fine. We can also press the high voltage button and you'll see the thing is going to move down here in kilo, kilovolts. See, 0 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5. These are 0 0.5 to 2.5 kilovolts. That's thousands of volts. So we'll hit the HV button and we see our voltage is set around 800 volts. So that's good for this detector. The next thing we'll do is set it to the 1000. And you get nothing. Set it to the 100. You don't really get much anything. Set it to the times 10. It starts moving up a little. So let's set it to times 1. And as you can see, it maxes out almost immediately. And I'll cut the sound on in a second. So let's set it back to times 10. Hit the reset button so we can zero it out again and let it build up slowly. Now, normally I don't really go through all of those. I always tell people what, I, what, what you're supposed to do and everything, but of course, like a typical hypocrite, I don't usually do it myself because that's really what makes a hypocrite a hypocrite. Somebody who says to do something and then doesn't do it. And there's no finer thing to do than be a hypocrite. Anyway, so, um, oh my God, have you seen my carpet? It's terrible. I have stains all over it. I've spilled coffee all over it. I'm absolutely terrible. My, my um, apartment people are going to probably string me up to a tree when I leave. Oh well, it sucks to be them. So here we go, here's the probe. Let's turn the sound on. We already see that our background, and this is a piece of granite, so our background's probably a little higher, but this is about right. My background's usually 1800. Let me move this away from the granite and whatever's underneath the lead there and see if it goes down a little bit. Yeah, see it's dropping a little bit. So my background's anywhere from 16 to 1800. It's just elevated right now because of this and because of this. Let's turn on the sound. The Ludlum beep. Now let's turn on fast response. This will give me a less accurate but much quicker response. See how it fluctuates? The other one is uh, uh, recording a bunch of time and kind of mellowing out a little bit, but the response is pretty quick. You put it on the granite, it goes up. Granite itself is radioactive. Yeah, we go anywhere near this, anywhere near this, and we're, oh, we're already off the charts. So let's switch to times 100. Now this is 0, 10,000, 20, 30, 40, 50,000. So we're nearing 10,000. This thing's surrounded in lead, whatever it is. It's just that the ludlum is so sensitive. So we get about 10,000. Let's pull the lead off. Oh, look at that, cesium-137. Let's move a little closer to it. And now let's put it right up against, oh, hard over. Okay, so apparently we can't do that. Let's put this on top. Let's get the cable out of the way. Hard over. Switch to times 1,000. Now, this is zero, let's zero out the meter. Zero, uh, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500,000. And so we're nearing 200,000. Not bad, huh? Ah yes, the Ludlum. My god, I'm already doing a product review right this moment and it's not even my official product review. So, let's move that away. Anyway, so basically put, this guy is absolutely the most useful little tool ever. I can take it anywhere. It's super rugged. And, um, cut the sound off. And I've given it a name. It is Ryooki. If you know who Ryooki is, uh, uh, pop something in the comments letting me know if you actually know what Ryooki is. But anyway, I named it after Ryooki because of the little noise it makes when you shut it off. It makes this kind of like little funny, cutesy little noise. But anyway, so this is my baby. It's all brand new. It's fine to buy them off of eBay, but I like them, you know, brand new. They have warranty and they're in better condition and so on. So uh, there you go. I'll be taking this one on all kinds of adventures. I'm going on another business trip in just a few um, days. And when I go on this other business trip, um, I'll take this one with me and see if we can find anything interesting.
But anyway, oh, and after this, I'll show you some bonus uh, footage. I took this out in the rain, and I'll show you the unboxing, which comes up at after I've shut up, which should be just, well, just about now.